Find the possible values of D. Uh, find the possible values of D uh, if the real solution exists for this quadratic equation. So here you got a quadratic equation x squared plus 5x minus 1 minus d times d times x squared plus 1 equal to 0. So real solution exist means real solution exist means what? Exist implies your determinant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 or greater than equal to 0. Okay, so let's say so expanding this so this is x squared plus 5x yep. minus 1 minus dx squared minus d equal to 0 so let's simplify this a little so this is x squared minus dx squared minus 5 sorry plus 5x minus 1 minus d equal to 0 so comparing this with, okay, now before that, let's say simplify this. So this is uh, 1 minus d times x squared plus 5x plus minus 1 minus d is equal to 0. So comparing it with ax squared, the quadratic formula, ax squared plus bx plus c, equal to 0. We can say A is 1 minus D, B is 5, and C is minus 1 minus D. So we know the fact that we want to use this, re this result to find the values of D. So well we can say uh, B squared, B squared is 25 minus 4 times A which is 1 minus d times minus 1 minus d is greater than equal to 0. So what can we do now? Okay, let's see. So this can become, so this is 25 minus, if you factor the minus 1 out, so this will become plus 4 times 1 minus d times 1 plus d is greater than or equal to 0. So, so this will change to, so this minus, I have factored minus 1, mi uh, from minus 1 minus d, I factored the minus 1 out, that made this minus 4 to plus 4. So this is 25 plus 4 times 1 minus d squared is greater than or equal to 0. So what can we do now? So this is, uh, so I can say this is 25 plus 4 minus 4d squared is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so, so simplifying this further, so this is 29 minus 4d squared is greater than or equal to 0. So we can say 29 is greater than or equal to 4d squared. So dividing both sides by 4, I can say d 29 over 4 is greater than less or greater than or equal to d squared. So we can say d squared is less than or equal to 29 over 4. So this means so taking square root, you can say d should be less than or equal to plus or minus square root of 29 divided by square root of 4. So we can say ultimately d should be, or uh, d should be, okay, so d, we can simplify that to d should be less than or equal to plus or minus square root of 29 divided by 2. And that's the answer. 
and you can enter this on a calculator and check so there will be four types of solutions so if you enter this exact value on a calculator there are four possible possibilities the parabolas that you're going to get can be something like this or something like this or you can have uh, you can have one minute so you can have a parabola like this or you can have a parabola like this so you can enter this and see whether this answer makes sense